Hi, everybody. I'm Lawrence for The Developer Show, and this is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. Android Studio Dolphin, the latest and greatest version of Android Studio, and the one with what must have the best name to date, Android Studio Dolphin released this week. This release focuses on three key themes. There's Jetpack Compose, Wear OS, and developer productivity. There's so much to explore in each of these, from an easy preview of animation in Jetpack Compose to a handy Compose UI counter within the Layout Inspector that'll help you keep track of when your UI recomposes, and that allows you to streamline the user experience. For Wear OS, there's so many new features to get you ready for Wear OS 3, a new emulator, an intuitive pairing assistant, new deployment flows for tiles and watch faces, and a whole lot more. It's available to download in the link on the Android blog. Staying with Android, there's a whole host of new stuff on the Android Developers Medium site. With updates to the excellent course on helping you troubleshoot deep links, there's lots more on thinking in Compose, and there's a handy dandy guide to everything update that's new in Android, and it's volume 68. They've been busy. On the Firebase blog, there's a terrific post and interview with the founder and CEO of Classkick. And this is an app that uses Firebase, and in particular, its real-time database, to help students and teachers work together in real time. Check it out on the Firebase blog in the link below. Also in Firebase, remember the Firebase Summit 2022 is coming up. Details are on the Firebase Medium, and the summit itself has both an in-person and a virtual experience on October 18th, 2022. If you can make it in person, it'll be at Pier 57 in New York City. Check it out to learn more about how Firebase can really help you accelerate app development, running your app with confidence, and scaling your business. Details on the registration are in the links below. The Chromium blog has an excellent post this week along the theme of the fast and the curious. I love that name. And it talks about how to speed up Chrome on Android startup using spectacularly named freeze-dried tabs. Check them out at the link below. And last but not least, it's been a huge week if you're interested in developing for AI and machine learning. On the TensorFlow blog, we released a new post detailing everything we've been working on for the last few months and a little bit of the road ahead. For example, there's Tensor Projects, and this is our unifying vision to bring all phases of AI and ML development together into a coherent, free, and open source ecosystem. And there's also the announcement and the first glimpse at MP Studio. And this gives you a low code and a no code development of AI models for apps, sites, and a whole lot more. There's also the announcement of how we're continuing to embrace the open source community by making PyTorch work well on cloud and supporting the new PyTorch Foundation as a result. It's our commitment to you as developers to build the best possible tools and platform to power your success. And we're doing our best to continue to do that. To learn more all about this week's stories, please make sure to check the description box below for all of the links. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Lawrence for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.